welcome back welcome back and we will be starting back where we left off yes where we all left off guys you remember in the sick mansion Barry just gave us two acid rounds and just left us there. I actually want to point out something there that there's going to be something weird there that's going on. I could have bypassed a certain scene to get a certain weapon in the game, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys. I want you guys to see it yourself and, you know, kind of figure it out. But I will explain what took place right there just so you guys will have a heads up over it. So anyway, let's dive into the madness and find out what is going on. In this mansion fear can't kill you but yeah a fucking zombie can no shit I know fear can't kill you but a fucking zombie will lesson to learn kids lesson to learn I got a lot of items we'll be using that. to use a few keys now we want to put the key to use we're gonna go here open this one first because we want to go through here I was playing through I actually believe it or not I ran past this item and yes every zombie literally come back to life and kill us and the item is the lighter yes that item right there you need it no matter how much you think you don't you do um, well you you can play through the game without it obviously or you can pretty much use it but you know since if you're a noob and you not really familiarize with Resident Evil Zero and you pretty much playing it again I would have advise you to use the lighter and take care of some of those dead bodies that might be just lingering on the ground and coming back um, if you're going to see we're going to get a manual that's going to explain all of that to us but before I go anywhere I want to come out here and we're going to have two guys here to kill I'm just giving you guys a heads up not to surprise you or anything one is right here no. Oh, I my life, bitch. Stay the fuck. Stay the fuck down. Thank you. And now I have five. Well, you see, that one right there, we're not going to bug him. Because we are... Fuck. Crit shot. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. Busting zombies head right off their fucking body. That's the second crit shot, Jill. Nice one. More of that, and I will fucking love you. Much more of that, and I'll love you. You kill two zombies without not even have to use a single fucking lighter fluid. Now, here is our item box. One of the most loveliest places in the game I like because it lets you store shit. And right now, I need to store some very unimportant shit that I don't need. Now, um, I'm sorry if my language and attitude in this game get most people rough. That's just the way I play video game. I just like to, you know. 
know, sit down and commentize while I go through it. It make the game very interesting and it don't make it boring and, you know, sappy. So you can sit there and listen to somebody else talk while actually playing the game. Now, I won't make it that dramatic because I'm not a dramatic individual. But what I will do is try to make it very interesting as I go through. You know, with funny suggestions and trolling and all types of good shit. So, that's it. If you like it, if you don't, you know, you don't have to really watch it. If you, you know, like this type of sort of shit, then, you know, join the sick fucking band of all of us. And we'll have a nice ride to Resident Evil. Now, the thing that I was talking about is right here. It will explain all the process to you. You just pick it up off the ground. See, special instruction when disposing dead bodies. We have new information <coughs> regarding those beings. They may appear to be dead, but in fact, they are able to come back to life. See what I was trying to tell you? However, there are ways to prevent them from becoming active again. Currently, there are two known methods to the case. To cases. The cases their reconstruction or their re resurrection, whatever. Instruction disposing of the dead. If the future methods are discovered, they will be notified immediately. Blah blah blah, we're not gonna read the entire all of it. Basically they're telling you that the lighter that you have in your hand and the gasoline thing, use them, burn the body, etc. etc. We are going to do that. We want to burn those guys' body that we just pretty much killed especially the one up top we want to take out his body make sure that he's burned up we're not going to trouble that guy in the corner over there even though he's going to start moving himself shit this could be a fucking issue because his brethren is on the ground come on burn his body there you go We want to unlock this room and we want to go inside there. Hopefully there's some kind of magazine clip inside there that we can use. Oh no. There ain't none. This guy right here, we want to set his body on fire. Don't want none of them coming back. And that's the reason of doing that. You don't want none of these guys coming back and opposing the problems to you guys because, like I said, they hit very hard. Some of them will come back because I won't get to them quick enough, but the ones that I can get quick enough to when I know where they are, I will try to pretty much get to them as fast as possible and get them out of the way. Pesky fucking things when they come back from the dead. And when they bite you, you could almost call the fucking shit a crit shot because they will just bite you once and you will just, uh, and you will just die. You don't want that to happen. That can be very annoying. Okay, here's a memo. John Tolman, I hear that. So we have a whistle, and we apparently we can't use it yet. Um, okay, this book right here tell us how to mix, but don't worry about it. I'll show you guys how to mix. I know how to do all the little mixing combination. If you're a big Resident Evil player, that's one thing you will know is all the mixing combinations. Um, the zombie would reset and go back to where he's 
So you can't have those things coming back from the dead and tying you up. Especially when you want to get from one point to the next. Alright, since we know that now, we just got rid of the body down there. Let's dive deeper with that. Hope there's not a fucking zombie room. something here. I need to go get another item. But I should have seen this fucking coming. Damn this fucking mansion gets so quiet sometimes. It's like you can't hear nothing and then shit just fucking automatically just popped out and just spooked you right out of the break. Um, but anyway, we're gonna get this item right now because we need it. I just forgot to walk with it a while ago. Normally I walk with entry bombs on me, but um, I'm not gonna be that noobish about it, you know, because I obviously know how to play the game. So I'm not gonna be saving like 50 million times. And oh yes, I am not using safe state in this game because I find out that's a way of cheating, and I don't like playing safe state. People use safe state and save everywhere because they want to just you know quickly get back into it. But obviously this is like a real playthrough, so I'm not going to use any safe state. At all. Just only what the game give me. And that's how we got the map for B2. So we just got the map for D2. You have got the map for B2. Yes, you want to do that because in this room, I think there's another item that I must get in this room, but I want to search it thoroughly, okay? So we just do that. Alright, we want something with an helmet. Oh, whatever. Alright, let's get out of here. I think 
think I've been dawdling in there too long. Okay. Now let's go to the place that I wanted to tell you about the little berry incident. So, all right, we're gonna come down here because that's going to be the next place of choice that we're gonna get to. And then after there, we're gonna double back here, save the game, and we'll continue on. But I want to show you guys this, this part first. back there I know this is one of the place also too you need to kill that guy right there and set his body on fire I'm not gonna do it right now because I don't feel like doing it we're gonna trigger another cutscene in a little bit Inside the bathroom. Oh yeah. Jill, don't do it. Don't do it. I told you. To do it. Oh my God. A zombie just come up out of the tub. It's a walker. Holy fuck! It's about to hit. Step on it. Step on it. Inside there, but however, the game will not make it with this item in this room right here. You remember the first part back in the part where he gave me the acidic rounds? If you had made it here before he gave you those rounds, you could walk out of this place with a shotgun like, literally, you could just literally walk out of here with a shotgun. Now, since I didn't do that and I had to take the hiatus route, which is the route which don't take the shotgun at all I took the rounds instead if I remove the shotgun off the veil off the thing the latch will go right back up which when the latch goes right back up and I go back into this room right here wait for it you will see what happened yourself I can't see what happened and suddenly the fucking ceiling is coming into me because I cannot get the shotgun just because of what you just see happen a while ago. Now, if you took the scene of the crowd and you don't pick up the map and you use the key, the, shield, the, the sword key to go around the room and come around here again, when you, when you come to this area or you come into this room before the wall come down on jail, Barry will pull you out of the room. So I just pretty much want to explain that to those who may not understand now. Um, I'm going to go save the game. I think I'm way above my recording time now. So I'm going to go back, double back and save the game. And I will pick up on the third one. Um,
we're gonna be saving the game and we'll pick up where, where we left off. Which is right here. Um, it's RPG Monster and I'm out and I will catch you on the third part of this Let's Play. Peace out and have a good one guys. Bye.